What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and today is August 18th, better known as 818 Day, at least to residents of the San Fernando Valley. And this, this is the first known photograph of the San Fernando Valley taken in 1873. So I wanted to go back in time and trace the history of the San Fernando Valley and celebrate 818 Day. Let's get into it. This is a 19th century photograph of what we now know as Rancho Los Encinos in Encino. But for thousands of years prior, this was a village of Pashkigna, an important crossroads of culture and language for the native and indigenous people that were the first inhabitants of the San Fernando Valley. Rancho Los Encinos still exists today, and it's underappreciated considering its historical significance. Now it has a visitor center, a museum, buildings, grounds to explore, and that natural spring has been turned into a lake shaped like a Spanish guitar. But the oldest existing structure in the San Fernando Valley is the San Fernando Mission, which was founded at the ancient site of Achio Comenga. And it was the 17th of 21 Spanish missions established in Alta, California and named after St. Ferdinand. It's also the namesake of the San Fernando Valley. The mission was secularized in 1834, but it was made a church again in 1920 and is still one of the most beautiful buildings on some of the most beautiful grounds in all of Los Angeles. One of the most important moments in not just San Fernando Valley history, but Los Angeles history, was the Treaty of Coenga, an 1847 agreement that ended the conquest of California and resulted in a ceasefire between the United States and Mexico. The treaty ended the Mexican-American War, and it was signed by John Fremont and Andres Pico, two people who loom large in California history, and the Campo de Coenga stands right across the street from Universal Studios, commemorating the signing of the treaty. A huge moment for the Valley and also Los Angeles happened on July 14th, 1876, when the San Fernando Tunnel opened up, connecting Newhall to the San Fernando Valley. This was the third largest tunnel in the United States. And most importantly, it was the main connecting line between San Francisco and Los Angeles. What that tunnel and railroad facilitated was farming and agriculture in the San Fernando Valley, led by Isaac Lankersham and Isaac Newton Van Nuys. At one point, they were the largest wheat exporters in the world. As Los Angeles was developing around them, Lankersham and Van Nuys got wise and formed the Lankersham Ranch Land and Water Company, a real estate development in what is now North Hollywood and Toluca Lake, the first suburbs of the valley. But not far behind were George McClay and Charles Porter, who developed the township of San Fernando, which to this day is the largest independent city in the San Fernando Valley and also named San Fernando. Now, around that time in the 1880s and 1890s, Ventura Boulevard officially developed. It was one of the oldest routes in the valley because it was originally part of the Camino Real, but it formally became a street in the 1890s. At about 19 miles end to end from the Coenga Pass to Calabasas, Ventura Boulevard is now the longest commercial strip in the entire world. Wow. Speaking of long, the Los Angeles Aqueduct, which took water from the eastern Sierras into the San Fernando Valley so Los Angeles could thrive, is a 250-mile pipe dreamt up by William Mulholland, without which Los Angeles would not exist. When the Los Angeles Aqueduct opened in 1913, it enabled an area that only had water for 100,000 people to have water for millions more. And it still remains a monument to Los Angeles for those of us that drive up and down the 405 and 5 freeways. Another monument to the valley is the Van Nuys Airport, which opened up in 1928 by a small group of private citizens who used it mostly for general aviation. But it soon became used for Hollywood stars and filming movies such as Casablanca. The Van Nuys Airport today is the busiest airport in Los Angeles and one of the three busiest airports in the United States. Once the Van Nuys Airport was in full swing, the valley's population boomed and it moved from agriculture to suburbs. And the San Fernando Valley's population quintupled between 1945 and 1960. But that couldn't have happened without the 405 freeway, the San Diego freeway, which opened its route to the valley on December 21st, 1962. And oh yeah, the first traffic jam happened one hour later, literally. And you can't talk about the Valley without talking about Cal State Northridge, which actually opened to San Fernando Valley State and was originally supposed to be in Baldwin Hills until a meeting in 1952 when they said that the Satellite College would be better placed in the Valley. CSUN is one of the finest academic institutions in Los Angeles and California and has an estimated $2 billion per year economic output for the city of Los Angeles. In the 1960s and 70s, the Valley was establishing its cultural identity and with police cracking down in East Los Angeles, Van Nuys Boulevard became the capital for cruising. 
a tradition that still continues to this day. On January 17, 1994, the Northridge earthquake struck, killing 57 people and causing billions of dollars in damage. As it always does, the valley rebounded. Enough so that by 2002, it wanted to become an independent city as there was a movement for secession that ultimately failed. But the new potential names for the city were Valley City, Mission Valley, Rancho San Fernando, Camelot, and Townsville. San Fernando Valley of today has 1.82 million people, which would make it the fifth largest city in America by population. More than cities like Phoenix, Dallas, Denver, Vegas, and Philadelphia. It even has more people than 12 states, including Wyoming, Vermont, and Alaska combined. Oh yeah, what about that 818 area code? Well, on January 7th, 1984, the 818 was officially put into service, making Los Angeles one of the first official cities to have multiple area codes. Go ahead and enjoy your August 18th. It's 818 day, and we love the valley. All right, LA, it's been a minute.